Disney Marvel versus Bo DeMeo. A few people have been asking me how I felt about this, so I figured maybe I will make a video about it. Let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible. If you don't know who Bo DeMeo is, he's the creator and writer of X-Men 97, the wildly successful animated series that's been going on on Disney+. Plus. While he did complete writing for seasons one and two, he was fired off of the show before season one released back in March. Even though he was fired, he continued to promote the show as it was released, and no one really knew the real reason behind it. Some people speculated because he had an OnlyFans account, which had non new but suggestive photos on there, that Disney wanted to sever ties, and that was kind of the narrative that was going on, but nothing official for a while. Fast forward to August 12th, DeMeo releases a tweet about his invitation to the Emmys, or lack thereof. The tweet reads, to those asking, Marvel Disney has not reached out to arrange my attendance to the Emmys for the show I created, X-Men 97. Later, he wrote back to a fan saying, I created and produced it and was the entire creative point and leader on every aspect and stage of production. At this point, things start to seem kind of weird. The guy created an Emmy-nominated show for you and he's not invited to receive an award? Hmm, what's really going on here? So apparently, DeMeo had a few more things to say. In another release tweet, he said, Above is X-Men fan art I posted on Instagram for Gay Pride in June. On June 13th, Marvel sent a letter notifying me that they stripped my season 2 credits due to the post. Sadly, this is the latest in a troubling pattern I suffered through while working on X-Men 97 and Blade. Because he did work on the Blade film that may or may not ever come out. Another mysterious situation. That's a story for another day. And that was accompanied by an image of him as, well, I'll just put the image here. I think I can do that. The plot thickens. Marvel, who's usually silent when it comes to these things, decided that this was getting out of hand and they needed to respond to DeMeo. So this was their response. Mr. DeMeo was terminated in March 2024 following an internal investigation. Given the egregious nature of the findings, we severed ties with him immediately and he has no further affiliation with Marvel. Hmm. The egregious nature of the findings. It's not specific, but it makes it sound pretty bad. So still, we don't know what exactly it was that got him fired. Was it the OnlyFans? Was it something else that was going on? Up until this point, it was mostly the Mayo side of the story going. But this is not the end of it. We get more. Per The Hollywood Reporter, we get this statement. Sources say that following his exit, an agreement was reached between the two parties over the issue of tweeting about the show, something that DeMeo had continued to occasionally do. In light of the breaches, his credit for season two was removed. While no details of the cause of the termination or the internal reviews have surfaced, sources say it involves sexual misconduct. Okay, there's a lot going on here. First of all, stripping him of his credits for season two? Hmm. Let's just take that part. Speaking as a creator or whatever I want to consider myself, I don't think it's ever okay to remove someone from credits of something they created. If you're going to release it and it's in a form of which someone put it together, it's their creative vision, it's their writing or whatever it is, they deserve the credit no matter what happened after or behind the scenes. If they do intend to strip him of his credits, I would say they would probably have to rewrite or redo whatever he did, erase it, whatever the case may be. If not, whatever it is, I feel it's unfair to strip him of his credits. There's plenty of people who do horrible things that still have credits for the things they did before or even after. And I don't think it's fair. Give credit where credit is due. That's the number one thing as a creative. I'm always for that. Now, sexual misconduct. Here's where the story gets deeper. While I don't think he should be stripped of his credits if they use his material, it's obviously grounds for him to be terminated. And I'm surprised that Disney and Marvel kept it this quiet. Maybe it's because of the agreement they made. Hey, you don't talk about what you did. You don't talk about the show. We don't talk about what you did and we don't attach you to the show's promotion. Fair might be an easy out for him if that's the case. If not, I don't know, but there's more to the story. Let's get it out. Now, it was also stated that DeMeo likes to release shirtless pictures of himself all over his socials and OnlyFans accounts. I've never seen them, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he's a pretty fit guy. Guys do it all the time. They, they release shirtless pics, you know, they pose and do things like that. It's it's fairly common. Um, um, but this caused the publication, publication out, out to, to declare, declare him the, the sexy, sexy game model writer, writer and showrunner to, to know. know. 
So he was getting some notoriety for it. And apparently he's been doing this before and after he was hired. So it's probably something Disney already knew about. After Marvel outed his alleged egregious behavior, he released another tweet saying, I'll have more to say soon, but must take a step back from social media to find a safer space for me to be out proud and nerdy. Stay tuned. Which kind of sounds like a little threat warning. Like, what more do we have to come? The story is getting really, really insane. DeMeo also threw a shot at Disney when he tweeted, The truth will be revealed. After their Disney Plus disaster, Marvel wants to mislead with alleged contract breaches over tweets. It's tragic as come to this, but unsurprising. Stay tuned. If you don't know what he's referring to, I think he's referring to a case that Disney currently has going on, which is also extremely strange and alarming. Just a brief tidbit on that. Recently, a man named Jeffrey Piccolo traveled to Disney for a vacation with his wife. They ate at a restaurant on the Disney premises, but I don't believe it was owned by Disney. And his wife had some specific allergic conditions that she needed to be met. And the restaurant assured her that they would be. She ended up having an allergic reaction and unfortunately she died in the hospital. The man is trying to sue Disney for the wrongful death. And during this suit, they alleged that because he signed up for Disney Plus back in November 2019 and he accepted the terms and conditions, it bars him from taking Disney to trial on any type of lawsuit, regardless of what it had to do, regardless of where it was. This is especially on Arlen because now people are starting to pay attention to the terms and conditions and everything they do. And we know that list. If you ever sign up for everything, hey, you're here for YouTube. The, the terms and condition list, a lot of people skip it. They just click yes, 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 and go. A lot of people don't really read what's in there. And companies slipping in a clause that says, hey, no matter what you do in life, no matter where you go, you can't sue us is alarming. And that's what the headlines are going to read, regardless of how the wording is. If this case turns out that this man is barred from suing, it's going to be a disaster for platforms across the world. People are going to be afraid to sign up for anything and contract and terms and conditions are going to have to get really straightforward. And you basically need a lawyer just to get a Gmail account. It's it's freaking ridiculous. Have you ever seen that Black Mirror episode, Joan is Awful, where she signs up for a streaming service and they start using her story and her likeness for the streaming service show? Check it out. It has something to do with that. But anyway, back to DeMeo. So that's basically where they stood at this point. Now, per an industry insider and reporter Jeff Snyder we get this little extra piece of information allegedly may be true may not be true but this is what it says in regards to DeMeo's conduct and firing the allegations include Bo DeMeo sent inappropriate nude photos of himself to young male staffers these photos allegedly depict DeMeo wearing superhero costumes and striking sexually suggestive poses intended as inspiration for the show despite being asked to stop Snyder sources claim DeMeo persisted with one insider stating, if you are a guy who looked like they could be under 30 on that show, you have his nudes, whether you wanted them or not. Then it went even further and said he groped an assistant multiple times. Further accusations suggest that DeMeo also groped an assistant multiple times and exhibited both emotional and physical abuse towards staffers, although specific incidents were not detailed. Okay, so now we have an alleged source from an insider who's pretty trusted and respected, I hear, saying that DeMeo sent suggestive pictures and tried to pass them off as references for the show. Now, to speak to that, I do read uh, a lot of comics. I collect a lot of comic art. I collect a lot of comics. I do know a lot of great comic book artists, just say Alex Ross or someone like that, they do use actual physical models to help them and get inspiration on crafting these pieces of superhero art. That's not unheard of. For DeMeo, who is a guy who physically has the build of what you may say a superhero character can and should have, for him to want to use himself as a reference, I don't think is ridiculous or unheard of. But if he's sending unsolicited photos and was told to stop, yeah, buddy, you got to go. <laughs> that, that's, that's just basically it. So that's why I stand on that. I don't know if this part is true or not. Like I said, this is from an industry insider. It's just a thing that's going around. But that's where I stand on that. If these photos were just for the work and really just references, 
yeah, he probably shouldn't just be texting them, but I don't know what the work relationship is like there at Marvel, Disney, X-Men 97 house. I don't know if these guys text each other back and forth information about work. Maybe they, I don't know if it's a work phone. I have no idea. But all I'm saying is if these photos were in reference to the show, I don't know what sexually suggestive hero poses are. I I don't know if I want to know, but I just I can't imagine. But if these were unsolicited, if he was told to stop, then 100 percent his his termination, 100 percent valid. If these photos were maybe even used as references or people even asked for references and they were sent to them, then that changes the narrative a bit. So from this part of the story, I would just like some clarity. So I can't really pass judgment either way right now on that part of the story. Like I said, I just need a little more information. But the saga continues. So the final piece of information that we got as of right now, this is August 17th. I'm filming this at 10 a.m. because I didn't want to do it last night. I was tired. But we got a statement from apparently the Mayo's lawyer. And the rest, this statement reads, having much experience with Disney, the playbook is always the same. Family friendly on the outside, but secretly attempting to plant illegal, unconscionable items in contracts that silence the truth and stop employees slash customers from asserting basic constitutional rights. As we will explain through detailed examples, which we will roll out in detail one by one, once it gets challenged or exposed, the gaslighting and redirection of the blame toward anyone willing to tell the truth starts through an international well-oiled publicity machine. Bo DeMaio wants nothing from Marvel Disney except the truth. He will bravely tell the truth. So will I. Stand by. All right. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. So apparently it looks like some details might be coming soon. Maybe a lawsuit, maybe just some fact finding. I don't know. He said the mayo's not looking for anything. I would think he's probably looking for his credit. He might ask for some money. We'll see how that goes. But at this point, I'm going to give my final thoughts on it. This is how I feel. If the mayo was performing any type of sexual misconduct or sending any type of unsolicited or unwarranted nude photos, anything of that nature, anything that'll get you fired from any job, doesn't matter where it is, legitimate firing, but you have to keep his names on the credits if you're gonna continue to use his creative vision, the things he's created. If you're gonna change it, rewrite it, go a different direction, fine, strip him off his credits, sever your ways, that's it, he's out of here. DeMeo, leave it alone. Stop talking about it. Quit while you're behind. But if all of this is just posturing or, you know, fairy tales, maybe not 100% true. We got to see if there really was an investigation, what they really found. And if I that he wasn't really doing anything, he might have sent a few pictures. Maybe they were wanted. Maybe they weren't. Maybe there weren't any pictures. Let's see the facts come out from that. And if so, we got to find out why he was really terminated. What was really behind it if it wasn't egregious behavior? I think this warrants a lot more investigation and it can go either way. I don't know who's really telling the truth here. With that being said, it's sad that we won't get another wonderful season from the Mayo. He was a great creative uh, writer. I think he took X-Men 97 to new levels. Obviously, if the Emmys wanted to nominate it, it's an amazing show. It has a great score on Rotten Tomatoes and it would be messed up to lose a great talent over something that we don't really know what it is so i just want to get to the bottom of it right now the jury is out my opinion at this point is still a wait and see because we don't know what's going on or what's really true here so as more facts come out i'll give a more definitive opinion but like i said sending unwanted things to people nudes already thrown out sexual misconduct thrown out anything else you're going to have to prove that he really did something wrong or just come out and say, we don't like the guy. We just don't like him. And we wanted to get rid of him for whatever the reasons are. Whatever the reason is, you don't like him. Just say, I don't like him. And this is why. And I can respect that. So let's see where this turns out. Like I said, more might come out this weekend. I'll probably report on it because I already started if more people ask me. But that's the DeMeo versus Disney Marvel situation. All right. I hope you guys stuck around to the end. Comment down below. Say how you feel. Say what you think happened. I'm open to the conversation because I really don't know. I'm not swinging either way just yet.
Thank you guys for rocking with me. I'm just Dale and I'm out of here.